What's going on, man? We back in the shop with it today, man. We had to bring the car out up to the shop so we could put the rear coil springs in it. I said, man, I'm not gonna keep getting on the ground when I got access to a shop being a technician. So we slid up here today to get the rear springs on it. So anyway, we're gonna get right into that. I'm by myself, so it's gonna be hard trying to hold the camera and, you know, do it at the same time. But I'm gonna do my best for y'all. So y'all, let's get to it. We made it to the shop. You know, got everything in here. Got the new coil springs right here. We gotta set the lift on it, man. Let y'all know how deep I get into this, y'all. Know, this is next Monday's project. Like I said, every day is cars with me. We got a new 6-2 for the new Escalade. Like I keep saying to y'all, it's a dope truck, but buy it at your own risk because you getting one of these if you buy it. That's just how it works out. 21 or a 22, you buy it, it's getting a brand new motor. So if you buy one, you need to buy an aftermarket warranty and do not buy anything you see on TV, none of them commercial warranties. Buy the one that the dealership offers. I know they be taxing for them, but y'all need to go ahead and make that happen because you buy a 21 and up, you're in a ticking time bomb. So yeah, anyway, I'm finna set this lift. Try to get down here, set the lift. Reason I came to work anyway was my back and I don't wanna, Working in that garage, we killing my back. So we came up here to get everything set out on it. And then we gonna throw these springs on there. Or maybe too far forward. No, we good. Mm. And I hope so. Yeah, yeah I need to that's good right there. See if we can get these springs in. But we coming along on this car. I'm trying to get y'all some other stuff. Last few steps, like I said, before Monday, when we loaded up on the tow truck, headed up to Choctaw, Oklahoma, down to Fat Fabs. Y'all my Oklahoma people, man. If y'all ever dealt with Fat Fabs, let me know, man. This be my first experience dealing with them. I had a couple of my buddies take their stuff over to their trucks, because Fat Fabs do a lot of like body drops and stuff like that on trucks. He took his over there and it was shit. I think he had it there for six, eight, seven months. So I told him, the dude that runs Fat Fabs, I told him, man, he said August 5th, drop it off. He said two to three weeks. And I told him, I said, man, my birthday is September 5th. So if it ain't done by the end, I'm coming to get my car. I said, I want to be in my car on my birthday with my family. So that's definitely uh, something we're gonna try to make happen. But he got to really figure it out. But I don't wanna get excuses or call and he's saying, oh, we, we was busy today and we didn't get to it. And another thing I told him is, since I'm bringing the wheels, I'm not, I don't want you to leave it outside. Uh, he said he can honor that. I was like, I don't want it sitting outside because Somebody even stole it. And then, you know, they always have these little clauses in their contracts. So if something happens to us here, it is not our fault. And a lot of them try to live by that, by especially these smaller shops or shops that don't have like a big budget, like working for a commercial dealership, like a huge one, like I do. So, you know, if we have an incident happen here, we'll just cover it and move on. But a lot of those small shops, they don't do that. They just make excuses as to why not to pay. So we'll see see how it goes but anyway we're gonna get these springs out it's actually really easy to get them out you just gotta unbutton this rear shock bolt put you like a spin jack here and we'll get it out we'll lower it down and pop the spring out so let me get my spin jack set up and we'll start yanking these out we back I'm gonna see if i can actually hit this actually and we try to do this by holding the camera with one hand and uh with the other hand so we'll see how well this works out anyway show you how easy this can be when you just got the right stuff so that's how and then you just kind of got to go up a little i noticed until you can get the bolt straight because it'll when you pull it it pulls pressure down on the axle so you actually got to go up just a little bit to get my bolts out but okay I ain't gonna be able to do this with two hands. So anyway, go ahead and yank this out and lower this down and 
once I get it lowered down, we'll try to get the spring out. All I had to do is reposition my jack, so now we can just got the shock out. We'll lower it down. Another thing you kind of got to watch when you're coming down with this is like the brake line up here, which I don't think should be that bad. We're just coming down as far as we can on this side. It'll actually stop when I get it down far enough where it don't, where the play is gone. So we're going to tilt it down. As far as it'll go. Which is crazy, man. I thought about trying to put a lift spring, uh, cup in the back of here to make it fit, but I was like, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna mess it all up. Uh, so now the spring is as loose as I can get it, so. I think I'm gonna have to use a pry bar and kind of pry it up and over, so. I don't want it to fly out, but like I said, it's just me with one hand. I'll take a pry bar and just kind of pop it up and over this cup and out, so. Let me do that and we're gonna stick the new one in, show y'all what we got. Man, so we got the old springs out and the crazy thing is, if y'all see it, the old spring is actually taller than the new spring. So that's a little different. Hmm. But anyway, we still gonna put these anyway, anyway, cause this thing's gonna be squatted anyway, like a caddy should. So maybe that'll, I don't know. We'll see once we get them in there and get it down a little bit. And then uh, we'll check and see the difference on there. So see if I can pop this back in with one hand. Been trying my damnedest to get this car built. Should've got new cups, but this will work. Oh well. All right. The hardest part about doing this is working with one hand. My partner in crime ain't with me today. She real estate it today so y'all get me by myself today on this that's why the camera's gonna be a little shaky and i'm gonna be all over there it is but again one hand so we're gonna have to put the spring in with just one hand with off camera and then show y'all the finished product once i get both springs in so let me do that real fast See it. We all finished up new springs. Springs in, shocks are in. Pretty soon, I got these ordered from Parts Geek. We're gonna do new uppers, lowers, everything. Because like I said, I want, man, all these bushings, you know I mean? They may look good on the surface, but the way this looks, man, this stuff right here is very crucial to your alignment, man, and saving your tire wear. So that's definitely what I'm gonna be doing pretty soon. Also, man, I'm gonna try to, I need to get these sway bars off. Cause I finally decided, man, I'm doing all my suspension, like my sway bars, you know, the body braces, all that stuff. They're all gonna be yellow. I don't know if I'm gonna sand them myself and then shoot them, which is crazy. I think I'm gonna sand them myself and shoot them yellow instead of paying somebody to powder coat them. Cause like that's that's just wasted money. So, like I said, trying to build it friendly. And when I pull up, Rose and well, Ricky Rose gonna say that's a nice car. You know, he may make an off on it. You know, I'm gonna tell him no. Tell him scram. Probably not. But you know, anyway, we're gonna do that. And then I had another guy tell me I should pull up the Texas Whip Fest. I'm definitely gonna come out there. I forgot about it for a minute, but we definitely gonna pull out the Texas Whip Fest because it's closer to my house anyway, like he said. So we pulling up there, just correcting the small things as y'all can see. And the crazy part is, I thought this car would have a lot of leaks under it. We got one small leak, which y'all know what that is, which we don't care to replace it because I'll put a brand new one in that thing and it'll still leak the minute I put a new one in there. So I'm not gonna waste my time with that. Got the fronts on, hug down. And uh, I got a question. For everybody that ride wire wheels, how often do y'all check y'all's locks? How often do y'all check them? I know it said to check them after like the first 100 miles to retighten them. So I'm gonna do that. But like, how often do y'all check y'all's, you know, to make sure everything is straight? Cause honestly, man, it gets kind of sketchy. I think sometimes just driving with this, that's just my main lock and not knowing, you know, what's going on with that. Just one bolt. You know, I know a lot of center lock cars like Porsches and other stuff, but you know, 
just kind of different for me. So anyway, y'all let me know that. I'm about to put this thing down. And I found out why these are shorter than these because these are variable rate. These are constant rates, so let's say the same. These actually move as you go up and down the road. So we'll see how it rides with the constant rate, not the variable rate spring on there. So let me get this thing down. And we're gonna get it out of here, get it back to the house. Y'all see, she back down to earth. Crazy part is I checked the measurements, actually the exact same height as it was with these on there to now. So hell, did I waste my money? Maybe, but oh well, it was like, 60 bucks so we got everything back down it's looking good man i got a question man another question for y'all should i keep this factory i think the factory looks good i never really liked the emg grills with the uh big chrome over the hood but i seen box chevy king built one from like tiara that looked damn good that I may try to reach out and try to do one like a tiara grill because it looked good. But I also like the classic look right here, man, with the nice, you know, straight up and down fins and the Cadillac right there on the side. So y'all let me know what I should do, man. I'm gonna let y'all choose on this one. Y'all going with me on the build anyway. So right now I'm leaning toward factory in the comments, man. Let me know if y'all want me to keep the factory or put the tiara in there. Yeah, I think once we get that shortened, Try to squat on this thing is gonna be insane. Once we get that done, it's gonna have a mean, mean squat with the short and the big wheels in the back. And I really like it with the bigger wheels because the skirt in the back, not the skirt, but the fender comes down, you know, over the wheel. I think that's gonna look crazy, crazy good. But anyway, man, we're gonna keep pounding on this car, keep making it happen, man. I appreciate everybody's support, man. And I look forward to meeting everybody, man, at all these car shows, man, and just talking cars with y'all because that's what i love doing and y'all obviously love the same thing and these cadillacs man i love these cadillacs the chevys all of them man so y'all just stay tuned stay locked in with me we're gonna keep rocking and rolling on this on this car man y'all like comment share subscribe we're gonna catch y'all in the next video